Well, hello there. This is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and these are six fantastic songs from Billion Dollar Babies. Before we get into it, as always, you can find the links to these six songs in the comments section below my bearded head here. So, this was 1973, the next to last album by the Alice Cooper Band, as after that it was all Alice Cooper the solo artist. Um, this is the album following the success of the School's Out album, and many, myself included, find this one of the at least three best Alice Cooper albums, the others being School's Out and Killer. Um, they had lost me. The album after this, Muscle of Love, was kind of a bunt. Alice was starting to, well, it was an Alice Cooper album with Liza Minnelli on it. And I have nothing against Liza Minnelli. She's a great singer, but <clears throat> yeah, just kind of a, a warning sign. And I never cared. Uh, but for a one or two songs, I never cared for any of the solo stuff. But that's just me. I'm here to bring you these six fantastic songs from Billion Dollar Babies. And we'll start off with song number one, Hello Hooray. Which, by the way, is the only song on this album not written by anyone in the band. Uh, which I didn't know at the time because I was 13 and I think I heard it on like 8-track. Um, I wish I had had this on album. I never had it on vinyl as I think about it. Uh, which is a shame because I know that it folded out into like a big wallet and had all this kind of tchotchkes and stuff. I'm sure it was groovy. Um, but anyway, Hello Hooray, which also opens the album, is a good introduction to what you've got coming up. You know, it's big. It's theatrical. Alice is in great voice. And the band is in great form. And it is song number one. Hello, hooray. Song number two is Elected. What a great year for this song. What is it? I'm top prime cut of meat. I'm your choice. I want to be elected. I'm Yankee Doodle Dandy in a gold Rolls Royce. Um, speaks for itself. It's a rave, a raver of a tune. Uh, I've always loved it. And uh, I'm sure you will too if you've not heard it. Great energy to it. Just a great feel. Song number two, Elected. Song number three is the title cut, Billion Dollar Babies. You know, I don't know how it happened, but in recent years, I mistakenly thought that the other voice on this song was Harry Nilsson. And of course, I was incorrect because it's Donovan. And of course, it's Donovan. Because, you know, I was just listening to it the other day and it's Donovan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and to make sure for our convenience and cleanliness and to um, comply with all health code violations, I looked it up and sure enough, Donovan. Uh, how can you not love that rubbery sounding bass line on that and those pile driver guitars? You know, just everything about it says, yes, I want to play this again, maybe a little louder the next time. This is a whole album to be played loud, by the way. Um, and that is song number three, Billion Dollar Babies. Song number four, hey, it was another hit. Because Billion Dollar Babies was quite a hit. Um, no More Mr. Nice Guy. Uh... A funny song it really is when you listen to it my dog bit me on the leg today my cat clawed my eyes mom's been thrown about uh, 
uh, thrown out of the social circle and dad has to hide. What is it? The Reverend Smith, he recognized me and punched me in the nose. And then he says, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, it's fun. I'm glad this was like a huge charting single because it has kind of like a, I don't know, like a naughty boy feel to it. You know, it's not serious. Like, it's not a badass song. You know, the way some songs are, like The Boys Are Back in Town. The Boys Are Back in Town is a genuine badass song. Um, this is a naughty boy song, you know. It just is. And it is song number four. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Song number five is Generation Landslide. Um, I love Alice puts on the kind of creepy voice in a way um, when he's like saying the word don't you know people are dying in Korea he just has this kind of in his voice I'm not doing him well but he does him well and that's what counts because that's what you're going to listen to is Generation Landslide which is really sort of a would I call it an overlooked Dallas Cooper tune? Yes, yes, I would. And um, some nice harmonica on there. And it's just nice. It's just a, it's a very kind of interesting colors in that song. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not constructing sentences particularly well tonight, but that happens, doesn't it? But uh, it's so worth your while, song number five, Generation Landslide. And we finish up with song number six, which had to be I Love the Dead, which is sort of, to me, it's it's two songs in one. Because you have that, the first verses with the I love the dead before they're cold. They're bluing flesh for me to hold. Cadaver eyes upon me see nothing. Yeah, Alice is in full character here, and and the band is playing along, and then it eventually goes into the, I just picture like the Rockettes, where it's the, I love the dead, mm -mm, I love the, and you hear like the groaning stuff, it's, it's really creepy, it just is, stay with it till the end, trust me. Uh, it is song number six, I Love the Dead. Not Isle, like Island, but I Love the Dead. Yes, and that song number six, I Love the Dead, concludes six fantastic songs from Billion Dollar Babies. Give them a listen, drop me a line, subscribe, love me, Send me a cake. I love cake. I love pie. I love pretty much any fruit pie. So if you want to send me like a fruit pieogram, oh, thank you. If you don't, that's okay too. Just love me anyway. I love you. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. <laughs>